Hey everybody, this is Tina with Two Chicks and a Cricket, and I'm so excited. We're going to be starting a new series. We just got done with our basic Scrapbook Sunday series, and now we're going to be starting um, Adventures with the Cricket Cartridge series. And um, I had been wanting to start another series because uh, I knew our basic scrapbooking one was coming to an end, so I um, sent Wendy an email and I was like, what do you think that we should do? Like, what would be fun? And um, I kind of wanted her to be involved with this one and us like do it together and maybe be able to shoot some videos together. And so she emailed me back and said that she thought it would be a great idea if we did something to do with the cricket cartridges. And that worked out really well just because um, up here where I live, I know a lot of people who have just recently gotten a cricket or maybe had a cricket before and just like had, maybe didn't really know what to do with it. And um, I know some creative memory ladies who have gotten crickets recently with the launch of um, the creative memory cricket cartridges. And so um, I thought that would be really great to do some just intro to the cricket cartridges. And if you've had your, your cricket for a long time, um, and you have lots of cartridges and you already know all about them, then just tune into our videos and look at our projects because we're really excited about just some projects that we're going to be doing. And we Skyped last night and um, Wendy came up with, um, for one of the weeks, a really great project and she shared it with me and it was really cute and exciting. And so um, this video is just going to be an intro to the Cricut cartridges. I'm right in front of my Cricut cartridges right now. And I'm going to do a little intro to that. And at the end of this video is going to be my Cricut binder that um, I have and if you watch us on YouTube then you've probably seen the video because we have um, it's been on our YouTube channel for a while but we've not featured it on our blog yet so um, and then at the very end of this post if you just scroll down um, to the very end of this post you will see um, all the information on how to put that binder together so links and stuff that you'll need to go to to print out your information will be at the bottom of this post. So I'm right in front of my Cricut cartridges and um, my second favorite item to buy for scrapbooking um, is cartridges. You guys know I love paper and I have a ton of that but my second love is um, Cricut cartridges. So I keep all mine in their box and I just store them on shelves on a wall. Wendy keeps her cartridges um, on a clip it up system and we've seen that in some of her videos. So we have font cartridges which you know, Wendy and I don't um, buy a whole lot of these because we both use scales on our computer. And so we kind of quit buying these, but I have a pretty good collection. And then these are the Cricut Lite cartridges, and um, I love them. I wish they were a little cheaper because I would buy every single one of them if I could. <laughs> so then I have um, quite a few seasonal cartridges, seasonal mini cartridges. Um, and then like solution cartridges and I just have them in this box that store the cartridge and then the overlay and these boxes are really great um, I know some people have said that they if you don't have a lot of room these will store eight cartridges and so you could store your overlay and eight cartridges in this box and it takes up less room so then I have my shape cartridges, and that goes all the way to right here. I think you can only see the very top of this. So these are all my shape cartridges, and I just keep them in alphabetical order. So my fonts are in alpha order, my lights are in alpha order, and then my shapes are in alpha order, because it just makes it easier for me when I'm looking to get one. And then I have my classmate cartridges, and then all my... Um, character cartridges, my Disney cartridges, and um, that just works best for me. So... We hope that you enjoy this series and we're really looking forward to some of the projects we're going to share with you guys. And so um, keep coming back. Next week I'm going to be um, showing everybody how to make this George, uh, it's from the Georgian Basics Shape Cartridge and it's the Cricut Head. So I know that's on the very front of my um, Cricut binder and so you'll see that at the very, when I'm showing you my binder at the end of this video. But next week that's going to be the project that we feature. I get lots of emails asking about my binder and about um, the little cricket head and so hopefully um, you guys will come back next week and you'll see how to make that and get the instructions on that and it's real fun it's a fun little decorative item that I've added all over my scrapbook room <laughs> so anyways thanks for coming by guys and enjoy the binder video and leave us a comment let us know how you're enjoying um, our series and <laughs> 